Good evening. I'm Chris Bury. And I'm Barbara Pinto. Tonight we take an in-depth look at Illinois' perilous financial mess. The state is billions of dollars behind in paying its bills. How bad is Illinois' credit rating? The worst of all 50 states. And it gets even scarier. The state's pension shortfall now at a whopping $97 billion. This week, Governor Pat Quinn presented his budget for the coming fiscal year. He pushed for pension reform, blaming state lawmakers for dragging their feet. We all know that we must reform the Illinois public pension system. So, members of the General Assembly, what are you waiting for? Governor Quinn took the tone of an angry father, scolding lawmakers for their failure to act on meaningful pension reform. A stalemate, he says, cost Illinois taxpayers an extra $17 million a day. We cannot turn to our taxpayers to repair the pension problem. So, in fact, I think taxpayers are going to have to pay more. And I, I wish politicians would be willing to say that. Sorry, uh, you're going to have to pay more to pay off these mistakes that we've made in the past. What are those mistakes? And how did Illinois get into this mess? UIC professor of public administration David Merriman says it started decades ago when the state failed to meet its pension payments. When they were made, those payments came up short. Professor Merriman says the system is flawed since school districts don't pay employee pensions. The state does, making the situation worse, the financial crash of 2008 that bloated the massive pension debt to more than $96 billion. The uh, responsibility for retiring that debt is going to be split between three groups. Uh, one group is the taxpayers. The second group is uh, the employers, and by that I mean the school districts and the universities, primarily. And then finally, uh, the members of the pension system. Saddled with pension debt, Illinois has been unable to pay its bills, owing nearly $10 billion to state vendors and contractors. One of them is the Assyrian Universal Alliance Foundation on Chicago's north side. Homer Assurian is the executive director. His foundation trains and employs about 1,600 aides who provide daily home care services for thousands of low-income seniors. They clean, they uh, bathe their uh, clients, and they wash their clothes and uh, clean the houses and cook them and go to the shopping and help them, uh, that kind of work. That care saves the state millions of dollars otherwise spent on nursing homes. Ashurian claims the Illinois Department on Aging owes him between eight and ten million dollars. Several times we wrote them and uh, we begged them and do that whatever we could do. If you establish a pattern of, you know, not living up to your expectations, you establish a pattern of irresponsible behavior, which the state already is doing, um, that, I, I truly believe, um, you know, pushes people away from the state, and that'll hurt the economic development of the state. Among the state's other outstanding bills, $118 million owed to Walgreens, $768 million owed to public school districts across the state. 526 million owed to the University of Illinois, and eight million dollars to funeral homes for cremation and burial of the indigent. Governor Quinn wrapped up his budget address with a stern warning. This is the most difficult budget Illinois has ever faced, and it is only a preview of the pain that is to come if this General Assembly does not act decisively on comprehensive pension reform. 